Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in today's video, we will be discussing about how my Atlassian SRE interview experience was, what were the questions asked, how the recruiters helped me to get that opportunity. At the same time, I will be sharing a detailed document about your SRE. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Everything we will be discussing about the Atlassian. Now, coming on to Atlassian, guys, it is one of the biggest product based companies. You see, every other company which uses your Bitbucket, Team City, Jira, Confluence pages, everything Atlassian is giving. And in India, they have the very beautiful uh, uh, office in Bangalore at the same time, other places. And also, they have a very beautiful work life balance and work culture. And yes, obviously the package is one of the top notch packages that is there in India among the top product based companies. Now let's get started. This was the mail uh, which I got from one of the recruiter Abhilash Darshi. So he was my recruiter. So uh, when I applied uh, to Atlassian SRE uh, position uh, via the LinkedIn, so he was the first person who has contacted me and surprisingly he has shared me an SRE document basically a preparation guide uh, let's go ahead and see in this preparation guide what was there and how many rounds this preparation guide tells about how you have your different kinds of patterns where they evolve it you as a candidate now i would like to tell you all because most of you don't know about atlassian guys please go ahead and apply to the position and if you are getting selected Almost all your dreams will be fulfilled with Atlassian. I am damn sure about that. Now let's get started guys. So this is what the SRE craft interview process, every interview process you will be able to see. This is what the interview process looks like. I'll be going into detail level of uh, each round, how I had these rounds and uh, the document also you will be seeing like online dot flipping uh, uh, flippingbook.com. This is what the link they have shared to me. So let's get started guys. So basically if you see in Atlassian, there are five rounds guys. Okay. So the first round was coding round. The second round was system design uh, interview. Third one was SRE craft interview. Fourth one was values interview. And fifth one was management interview, right? Now among all these things, each of the coding round or system design round, you will be able to see like every round is of 60, 60, 60 minutes. So all total, you will be able to see each round of 60 minutes. Now let's get started guys. In the coding round, what was the question asked? So uh, as you all know, people will always think like in DevOps coding is not needed, but trust me guys, coding is needed. In 2023, 2024 and among the coming years, you should be able to understand how you do the Python coding, how you do the system design, how you scale up the architecture, how you scale down the architecture, everything guys. Uh, so I would request you all to at least know the little bit of basic things about the code, about the Java code, how it is built, what is a jar, how the microservice architecture is, how the files are divided, what is pom.xml, everything which is needed for you. Now let's get started in the coding round. I have, I have basically, uh, I have everything in my, uh, in my documents. So as you all able to see, right, I, I, whatever the interview I completed, right, I always make sure like, uh, uh, I write down every question after the interview. So that's how I still remember what were the questions asked to me and how the pattern was. So if you see the round one was coding round guys, which I got. So in this round one, they asked me a very difficult question and I, uh, I was supposed to do uh, the coding in any of the languages. So the first question was, Jira platform design and code on various features. So this was the uh, question they have given and not only uh, I just simplified you uh, the topic, but it was a very big question where they asked me uh, to de define the features. Also, let me talk about the features. He, he has given me the task like user takes a subscription of Jira as premium or standard. Okay. Now here are two types of customers are there now a standard customer and a premium customer. Okay. Now, uh, user should get the total cost of the subscription at the end of the month. Now you would, you would see from the two pillars of standard user and the premium user. Now the interviewer is asking me this premium user, whatever the payment is there at the end of the month, the usage charges. Okay. He needs to get the data of the total cost of that premium amount. Okay. 
if he subscribes in the middle of the month, he should get the prorated amount. Now you can understand anything we take on a subscription, right? So let's take like I, I go and take the Amazon uh, uh, Amazon Prime subscription, right? So monthly subscription is there, right? And I will be the prime member, right? And at the end of the month, I will be getting the bill I have to pay, right? But here, there is another case also. If the user is taking in between, at the end, he should be getting the prorated amount. Okay. Now the Python coding I have done in oops, guys. Okay. Why I have selected object-oriented programming here is uh, if you consider Jira as a whole platform, he is telling that there are two users, two type of users. One is premium user, one is standard user. Now in oops, what will happen is you you create two types of objects basically one is premium object one is standard object and the user will have what kind of features the user will have username the user will have at what month he has taken the jira account the user will have how much money he is spending on the amount uh, on the subscription the user will be having the entire uh, dashboard access everything under the user uh, standard object and other one is user premium object so i have taken the oops concepts and i have created five six files in the python code and uh, what i have done is i have created a, a few of the functions now how to create functions also you you would have seen like in my python classes in the previous uh, videos i have clearly told like dev the method name and you type you start creating the functions or you start doing the coding right and uh, most of my students who were uh, in my batches they would know like how we have done the chatbot coding how we have done the maybe uh, boat or three coding in the classes and you will be able to understand those all things only i have applied in my uh, round one of coding guys and uh, if you see uh, subscribe uh, subscribes.py right and jira premium.py jira standard.py uh, and all those things uh, whatever it is i would like to tell you i didn't complete the question to be honest right it was very big and being a devops engineer you cannot do a real time coding on the go right and whatever the concepts i have learned i have applied all year right uh, creating the functions creating the objects sending the data at least i was able to send for the jira premium standard and i was able to uh, calculate the cost also now coming on to the calculation of cost I just had in my brain like if a user takes 30 months, 30 days of subscription, he can get 1000 rupees. So there were some basic parameters which I have taken if the if if conditions also apply, if user is taking a normal standard subscription, then 30 days equal to 1000 rupees cost. If the user is joining any month, right, there is a date time parameter in the code of Python. And if user is taking at in between any time of the month, then what I have done is the date, right, uh, the current date uh, minus the uh, date of subscription, right? And uh, you will get the difference, right? And uh, what I have done is basically, let's take user at taken today, right? And the month end is this date. So this month end date minus this date, the current date, you will get the amount uh, what you need to calculate for that particular user, right? So that's how I have done the coding and trust me guys, I was not able to complete. I'm telling very honestly, I was not able to complete. But the thing is, I have designed the beautiful flow charts in my, uh, in my notepad. I have given him the assurance like 30 to 40 minutes I have done this coding. I have created five, six files, oops, objects, uh, the data flow, everything I have shown. And the rest 15 minutes, I gave him the assurance uh, like, okay, uh, I still remember his face, but I'm not remembering his name. I told him like, okay, give me a chance. I can show you the entire flow diagram on my notepad. So that is how the confidence you give to the users or you give to the interviewer that, okay, boss, you have the knowledge, right? Everyone is not great. Everyone is not like um, uh, overnight becoming a star, right? Every time we have, we are doing so much hard work every day, every night, we are doing so much hard work to make sure that you get the best. At the same time, those best things are applied in your interview also. It's not like one day you go and you clear the interview. It takes long process to sit in these kind of companies. And I want all my subscribers, all my family to target these kind of companies. Okay. So round was, was, one was completely into the coding round. Now let's see what is the next round. The next round was system design interview. Now I was, I cleared the round one. Okay. Luckily I cleared the round one. So I was very happy. And in my mind, while I was daily remembering, okay, I was sitting, I was sitting in my room. I was, uh, whatever I was doing, I was always thinking like Atlassian is my dream company. Atlassian is my dream company. I should join Atlassian. I should join Atlassian. And the system design round started. Okay. After two days, I got, uh, I got a call uh, from the recruiter and they said, okay, you have the system design round. Now in the system design round, you would be able to see what type of question I got client load balancer, okay, web tier, database tier, messaging queue, SMTP process. How will you include the observability in all the systems? Now you need to understand 
when we have a load balancer, when we have a web tier, when we have the app tier, when we have the messaging queues, uh, kind of Kafka or your uh, uh, queues which are used in the cloud, right? And SMTP process and all those things. So he, he has given me the beautiful diagram. Okay, now he is telling me, apply the SRE principles, apply the SLA, SLI, SLO, your observability things where you will take the actual values. What are the fields that you will parameterize? What are the fields that you will monitor from this kind of system, right? Suppose database is there. What kind of data you will, uh, you will process in your database? How much monitoring for your database you will give? What kind of size your database should be to handle 1 million of requests? So many cross questions were there in the SRE craft interview and mostly on the observability side. Being an SRE site reliability engineering role, you should be able to understand how your observability skills are very much important, right? Now let's go ahead. Let's see. Uh, in this round, mostly are uh, they were giving different kinds of systems and they asked me, how is this working? How is that working? What are the components that you can select? What are the components that you can pick? And uh, he gave two, three architectural diagrams. And with that, I have explained him all the things, right? Now I am giving you a gist of all the important things, whatever going forward in 2024, how the criteria of these companies will be, how they select you as a person, all those things I am telling you. So make sure you are watching right now. Let's see what is the third, third round. So basically third round is your craft interview and uh, System design, I, yeah, in the system design round, I got the same question in the craft interview also, I've got the same question where uh, I remember as far as I remember, they gave me again, um, some kind of uh, systems only. And they asked me like, how this system is going to be designed? What are the observability patterns you will be uh, uh, explaining? What are the things that you will be doing in this? So mostly as far as I make sure I remember, uh, the system design and SRE craft, they put me, uh, they conducted for me in single round itself or they divided two rounds. I'm not sure, but as far as I remember, there was a question with that load balancer, web tier, half tier and everything. I, I was, I was just quick enough to explain all the things uh, because I was working on those kind of things, SRE and DevOps in the Walmart itself. So I made sure I go and tell those things. Now the next round was one values interview. Now let's see in the one values interview, what are the things? Uh, that will be there. Okay. Now, uh, in the one values interview, let's see. Okay. Now in the one values interview, they have given some values guys. Okay. These are the, uh, SRE values or these are the Atlassian values, which everyone should follow. So how to prepare now, what are the values? Let's see, be the change you seek play as a team. Don't uh, make the customer go round round open company, no bullshit. So these are some parameters which they have given in this document and they asked me to prepare accordingly play as a team. If you have given a task, how do you select your team? How do you manage that team? If you are, if you are, if someone in your team has given a task has uh, your manager given a task, how do you make sure that that complete responsibility on that person is distributed among the team? How will you guide that person? So basically they are expecting you how you as a team member will be surviving in a team. So the next is like, don't uh, uh, make the customer round, 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 or don't make the customer uh, go here and there be to the point. Now in this case, uh, they will be asking you some of the questions like, uh, suppose you got a negative feedback from the customer, how will you take it up? Or you want to explain some things to the customer, uh, right? And, or the client, how will you be able to explain those things? So those kind of things, uh, open company, no bullshit. What's your approach when having difficult conversation? Have you resolved conflict in the past? Have you updated your communication style? So these are some, how, how do you uh, experience the negative situation? And yes, this document will be given in the description. So do check out all the things. Now, the last round was manage, management interview. The management interview is again a 60 minute round with one to one engineering manager will be there. The manager who will be hiring to your, uh, to the team and how to prepare all those things. He has, uh, he has actually shown, uh, right. And you will be able to, this will be a structured interview where we will ask questions that will dig into four primary areas, your ability to drive outcomes across the software development life cycle. You, how you apply lessons learned of the shop job and share them, your ability to manage conflict across various situations, how you take initiative, lead and inspire in your role. So always you see DevOps SRE is not just DevOps SRE as I always tell to my students, it includes your leadership qualities, your communication skills, the way you interact, your eye contact, your confidence, your level of maturity, how you solve a problem which is given into the theme, how you learn new things, adapt and go and execute that. So guys, when some company is giving you the best package, be ready 
with all these kind of things and yes definitely go over each point 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 and system design and coding are important for devops engineers so what are you waiting for start preparing on those parameters and be ready to apply to these kind of companies at least your life mein ek baar to aise company ko baithna hai attend karna interview or clear karna hai okay unfortunately uh, in my case i didn't clear the uh, atlassian interview after five rounds but yeah the learning experience was good i am very much happy that i i am sharing these kind of things to you right and uh, i have really seen any uh, sari related topics on the uh, on the atlassian side so i wish that you have liked the video like the video if you have liked the content and share the channel link with your friends all the links are in the description do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends this is singam signing off